morning to you all. Christ having risen from the dead dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Hallelujah. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge all our failures and prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God, and with one accord said, Sovereign Lord, Maker of heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant, Why did the Gentiles rage, and the people entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their, of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness, as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and sign and, one, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage, and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed, Blessed are Lord, all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them, he terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are all who take, take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an urban dish. Blessed, Blessed are all who take, take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you. You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Gospel of John is always, it has its own uh, depth meaning. That's why the symbol for Gospel of John is evil. So always the John narrates the words of Jesus deeply. In all the whenever during the life of Jesus, with whomever he encountered, had a conversation with them, it's completely he was speaking uh, with deep meaning. But many people who are spoke with Jesus, they spoke peripherally, but Jesus had met different kinds of people, Pharisees. Sadducees and uh, illiterate people and Samaritans, Gentiles, lawmakers, officials. So, but the words of Jesus is always it has its own meaning, and the meaning is always as depth. But the people who spoke with Jesus, they were always speaking peripherally, and they were not uh, speaking that much depth. So we see in the gospel reading, the Nicodemus, the Pharisee, the first point is coming at night. It means he doesn't want to, he does not want anybody to know that he is meeting Jesus. And also the first word he is saying, he is accepting, acknowledging that you are from God. But he uh, introduced, he, he greetings the Jesus as Rabbi. So which means there is always the talk of the words from the Nicodemus, uh, it's always the outwardly. But the words of Jesus, Jesus is, is insisting and Jesus is pointing out or uh, making him to uh, re-baptize. He is speaking about the baptism. At the same time when he had a conversation with the Samaritan woman, the Samaritan lady was not able to comprehend and not able to understand the meaning of the words of Jesus, what he says. This is the way all the depth meanings are, are implied in the uh, words of Jesus. Now, so the first reading, we see there is a beautiful sentence. The Peter and John, they say, Pilate and the, all the Gentiles, and the people of Israel, they all together plotted 
against Jesus and killed, accused Jesus and killed Jesus. But they say that these Pilate, the action, the activities of uh, Pilate and uh, uh, lawmakers and the people of Israel, Gentiles, they were all, they all did the will of God. It's really, we need to think about that. Is it the will of God that Jesus had to be crucified? And it is the will of God that Pilate uh, ordered just against Jesus? Is it the will of God that the group of Israel people shouted and acclaimed like they crucified Jesus? It is the will of God that the Pharisees accused against Jesus? Yes, yeah, that's what they say. Because always in the plan of God, even God uses the enemies as weapon and as instrument to fulfill the will of God. That is the greater, greater the greatest uh, action of God. God always not only using the good people, but all God also used the bad people also. God used the enemies. As, a, as his weapon and to fulfill the plan of God. In the Old Testament we see the people of Israel when they live in, in the country of Judah and they had enmity with, with Babylonians. The Babylonians were against Israel people but God used Babylonians uh, in order to instruct the good things to the Israel people to guide the Israel people. At the same time, the another one group of people, Assyrians, the Assyrians were against Israel people, but God used the Assyria, the God used Assyrians and to correct Israel people. So one way we see the those the people who are all enemy to God, God used them. And also we in our life we can we know two kinds of people whom we come across in our day-to-day -day life. One group of people whom we like, another group of people whom we don't like. But when we see, always we know that the group of people whom we like will might be the reason for our happiness. The group of people whom we do not like might be the reason for our growth. We shouldn't take it in a positive way. Because sometimes the group of people whom we like, they whatever they may not say our mistakes in direct way. But the group of people we don't like, because of their enmity with us, they will criticize us and they will speak against us. It might be the cause for our growth so that we will be careful in our words and action and sometimes we take it as positive, their criticism and we will correct ourselves. That's what, that's what had happened in the first reading. Peter says very well that uh, it is not that you people planned and killed Jesus. It is the will of God. God used you. God used to Pilate. God used the Pharisees, Sadducees. God used the group of Israel people who all, uh, who were all against Jesus. It is God used you all uh, to glorify the plan and to fulfill the plan of God to glorify God's name. So this is the way in our life also it may happen. So let us not uh, take a negative meaning and even if something is going wrong, and everything is for the goodness. We have to take it in positively. Everything is for our growth. So let us think and be. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord 
because he is good, united in the joy of the resurrection, let us turn to the Father with our prayers of petition. And on this Divine Mercy Sunday, the Church will rededicate herself to living and proclaiming Christ's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. The leaders of governments will work to ensure that all people can live in peace with the freedom to worship God and pursue holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. For an increase of occasions to the priesthood and to consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 For those burdened by sin, that the grace of the resurrection move them to receive God's mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 For those trapped in confusion or doubt, that they may be filled with the truth and the light of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 For the grace this week to face the trials and difficulties of life with the confidence and certainty that come from Christ's victory over death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And also we especially pray for the departed souls who are all those who have passed away from this world because of this coronavirus. May the Lord accept their souls and shower his mercy upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal needs in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, the resurrection of your Son gives us a new birth to a living hope. Let us live in that hope always, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual gift. Blessed be God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our willing to the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gifts we bring May bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defend us ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. 
the lamb was slain to live forever. Therefore, overcome with the past joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angel court sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we praise by sending down your spirit upon the mighty good God, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. We 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have heard my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my soul. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permitting to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Living love, the masses. Amen. Thanks be to God.